me that he would look up in the sky and see airliners flying over and his dream was born as a young boy. Michael had these two airplanes, which for all intents and purposes were cargo airplanes minus a cargo loading system. So with that, what he did was he set up a venture with Tower to actually operate those airplanes once he sent them back to Wichita to make up full freighters, operated them for China Airlines, and at some point in time, Michael thought he'd be better off establishing an airline and operating the airplanes himself. And so hence he reached out and uh, tapped Ron on the shoulder to put a team together to get uh, a company formed. Uh, Atlas Air as we know it today. That particular time with all of the airlines that are going out of business, everybody's unemployed, the FAA initially didn't take us very seriously. Like this was gonna be a trial balloon of some kind. There really was no script for this. Nobody was starting anything. Michael had the business, he had the airplanes, but he didn't have the operating certificate. Tower Air was flying the airplanes for Michael. Uh, Michael thought they were charging an awful lot of money for it, and so the motivation uh, to get into the 121 business was get his own certificate to operate the airplanes himself. He came up with the idea, um, basically, uh, in talking to uh, Tower. He, he saw it uh, from what Morris and uh, Naftami was doing at Tower, and he said, this, this could work, but not the way he's doing it. I know how to do it better, and he did. We had extensive knowledge of the business, primarily in the technical field, but also to some extent in business. We, we were relatively versatile in, in, in the sense that we were able to, to work on the business end as well as the technical end. You know, resulted in in, uh, in deals that, for the most part, made us money, or created uh, you know a, a, a situation where we where we had, had an improved delivery. The real reason the company was named Atlas um, falls on me. Atlas was bearing the world on his shoulders, and just the strength and the power that that statue represents drew me to that name. After we got our airline certificate, we uh, leased a uh, relatively small space for our offices at JFK Airport from American Airlines. One of the many jobs that came up was getting a sign put on the building, saying Atlas Air. We kind of jokingly said, well, maybe we should make it Atlas Air Worldwide Headquarters. Thinking at the time that, like I said, we'd only have a few aircraft when we reached our peak. But that turned out to be very uh, prophetic. So Atlas developed a niche whereby they were able to provide aircraft to other major operators, such as China Air, uh, Qantas, airplanes where um, they needed main deck cargo lift couldn't achieve it themselves economically, and then used Atlas, who could provide a cheaper uh, product, service, better than they could themselves. At one point, we had 99% of the market, and that was because all of our customers were making money with the aircraft. Even though Atlas was doing very well, they were doing very well. And the reason for that is we used to sit down with the cargo manager and the CFO and everyone else, and we would plot out the business case together and we would get involved as a partner. We wouldn't just sit there, like a lot of companies made that mistake. They said, you know, they, they throw an airplane at somebody. They don't show them how to make money with an airplane. There was great leadership, and I think that was the greatest accomplishment of Atlas, was that Michael Major felt like you were part of, a, of a, an organization that was going to be successful, that it valued its employees. You know, Michael Chowdhury had, would, would, would state that as long as the company focuses on providing value to its customers every day, providing value, finding new ways to, to add value to its customer, and if the company continues to focus on keeping costs down, the company will continue to be successful and will continue to grow. I think his vision for what the company could be has been realized. If he could see the company today, he would feel that you have even taken that achievement much further. 
He would be proud and grateful to all of you.